Dessert. <laughs> it's week five, not ten. Five. Oh. All right, you ready? <laughs> hey. Week five. Week five. Welcome everyone to Youth Tube. Uh. <laughs> So before we start actually like recording, we're always joking around, so it makes it really hard to start. But welcome to YouTube this week. <laughs> we're so week happy five. you're here. We're so happy you're here. We were talking about it. This week, seniors, you graduate from high school. You That's finished nice. your high school you career. Did it. You did it. We're so sorry first mm. to start off that it's not normal or what you expected when mm. you started this school year in the fall. Um mm. But we want you to know that you are loved, yes. you are celebrated, uh, and you are deeply cared about and cared for by mm -hmm. your family, mm -hmm. by us, and your friends as well. Yep. Um, so we love you, and we're so proud of you for what you've accomplished, and we look forward to what is to come in your life. Woo. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, so this week we played another game. Oh yes. This game we've actually seen some other people doing it, and it looked yes. pretty funny. It so does. we wanted to give it a try. So this week, what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a picture. But okay. Stacy's gonna draw, draw a picture mm -hmm. while a piece of paper is on Justin's back. Okay, on my back. And then he is gonna have a piece of paper in front of him on the wall, and he has to copy whatever I draw on his back. I'm like Picasso, so. So, <laughs> this could be scary. <laughs> this is going to be pretty fun. That was so hard. Okay, well, I mean, I don't really understand how hard it could be. I mean, look at this. I, this I'm is not like awful. A okay, but I didn't, like, this isn't this most, like, um, intricate butterfly you've ever seen. It's pretty so, good So, um, it kind of looks like Nora drew it, but that's okay. It's fine. Emmett would have drawn that. So. Emmett could have done better than this. So, there's it's fine. that. It's yeah. fine. It was funny. Oh my goodness. The hardest try part for me, family. you should definitely try with the, mm -hmm. with your family. The hardest part is like, I really wanted to know what you were drawing. So mm. I was like frustrated that I couldn't yeah. tell. That was yeah. funny though. It was, it, was funny. it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. You guys we want to, yeah, we want to see videos of you trying with yes, your Yes, if you try with your brother or sisters, your mom or dad, uh, you need to send us this picture. Post it yes. on your Instagram and tag it, TCC we Youth. We got to see it, okay? Yeah. That's it. pretty funny. Right. Okay. All right. Well, the, here's our favorite segment of the night. It is Rona made me do it. So it's like week 10 mm -hmm. of Shelter in Place. I've been here forever. It's dragging on a little bit. It's wearing on us, but we got to stick it out. You got to mm -hmm. stay strong. Yeah. I feel like the best way to stay strong is to have a fresh face. Oh yeah, nice soft skin. Is that is that something that you could say? Sure. <laughs> you said it. Okay. So you would like some fresh skin? I think so. Yeah, my my skin's feeling a little dirty. Okay, well let's do oily. Maybe a face mask. Face mask. Ah, I, I don't I don't know. I don't about know. Rona made us do it. We're stuck at home. We got nothing else to do. Oh man. You ready for this? Here we go. Okay. Face mask. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's okay. So let's uh, see it's what these things are. Apparently, I'm going to smell like coconut and coffee yes. after this. Yours is bubbly. Bubbly. So does that mean I'm going to look like a foam monster? I'm not sure. We're going to see. <laughs> okay, here we okay. go. Let's
Well, that happened. Time for announcements. Time for announcements. Well, like always, follow us on same Instagram. It's the exact same thing. If you watch us on Sunday morning, that's why Stacy and I have gotten creative because the announcements are the same. Follow We're us on working. Instagram, subscribe to Tracy Community Church YouTube page, and then Breakfast Club at 10.45 a.m. Text myself, message us on Instagram, email the church for the <laughs> Zoom meeting ID. There yes. are lots of ways to get it, um, but yeah, we just want to personally invite you yeah. to that. I want to uh, see you there. Yes, we'll see you there on Sunday mm -hmm. uh, and stay connected and engaged through Instagram uh, and our social media. Tonight, we are going to talk about love. L-O-V-E. Love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we just wanted, I, I don't know, I feel like as the school year comes to an end, as high school comes to an end, for you seniors mm -hmm. as middle school comes to an end for you eighth graders. Um, and then all of us in between, love is always applicable. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted to share a word, Stacy and I mm -hmm. both together wanted to share just a word on what Jesus has to say about love. Um, and I wanna to start tonight by talking about a well-known verse um, really, all of the verses we'll talk about tonight are fairly well known. You most likely have heard them before. If you haven't, that's okay. Um, you'll hear them tonight. Um, for those of you that have heard them before, I don't want these words to just kind of go in one ear and out the other. The reason why we're talking about them again is they're important, they're significant, and I really hope, and kind of my prayer for tonight is that these words would just really resonate with you. Mm -hmm. They would stick and they would be practical and they could really apply to your life. Uh, so the first verse we're gonna talk about tonight regarding love is John 3.16. And it says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And so, it's a big statement. It's <laughs> big. It said a lot, mm -hmm. but it's huge. Yeah. Just like you were saying, like, Let's take a pause and realize what is really being said. Mm -hmm. Je Jesus is saying, for God so loved the world. Oh, wow. um, yeah. And so when we think about love and our capacity to love and or like allow God's love to be like used through us, we need to remember that God loves the world. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just love one specific group of people. He doesn't just love the U.S. He doesn't just love California. <laughs> He doesn't just love Tracy. He loves the world and he loves everyone in it. And yeah. all of the people in it are mm -hmm. his children. Yeah. And so we, as Jesus followers, are called to love everyone as well. Mm -hmm. And so my hope for you seniors and for those of you that are still in high school and in middle school or just entering high school is that as you walk through life, remember that as you interact with other people, that God calls us to love the world. Mm -hmm. And the world is where you currently are. Mm -hmm. And if you're on campus, yeah. when we eventually get to go back to school, or whether you're in the community playing mm -hmm. a sport or just hanging out or mm -hmm. at home with your family, God mm -hmm. calls us to mm -hmm. love those people. The next verse is also in John, and it's John fifteen twelve, And Jesus is giving a commandment, and he says this, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. And so this is uh, Jesus saying like, hey, uh, the way that I have loved you as <clears throat> I have interacted with you while I've been here on earth, mm -hmm. this is how you are called to love others, to love each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's great because like Jesus' life is the practical example of what it looks like to honor God and glorify mm -hmm. God through our actions and the way we interact with one another. Uh, but I also understand that these things are fairly abstract where it says to like, okay, we're called to love the world. We're called to love the people that we are around. Mm -hmm. But is there any practical example or is there anything like tangible that I can like really know if I'm loving people well? Mm -hmm. 
Stacy, is that? <laughs> yes, there is. Let me tell you all about that. Okay, so one of my thoughts is like when you say, like, love your neighbor, mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like bake them a meal? Am I supposed to like pick up their newspaper and take it to them? Like, what is like love? What does that really mean? And, um, I remember this is going to sound crazy, but I remember back when we were dating a long time ago, um, we said that we loved each other. Yeah. We did. We said that. And we still, do. we still do. We still do. But we did say it. And I remember like after we said it, we were both like, we don't really actually know what that means. Like, mm -hmm. what does love, like, what am I, when I say yeah. I love you, mm -hmm. what does that even mean? Like, what am I saying? What am I like? saying that I feel about you. I can say that my heart is excited when I hang out with you, yeah. but like, what am I really, really saying? And so I remember during that conversation that we had, mm -hmm. um, uh, first Corinthians 13, which is, um, a scripture that is read often during weddings and all of that. And you kind of just like, Oh, that's so sweet. So great. But it's actually a huge challenge mm -hmm. and it's way bigger than just like, Oh, that's so sweet. I'm, I'm in love with you. It's like, right. holy cow, this yeah. is a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. God, cool? God didn't just give us the scripture to read at weddings. So we would right. have some content for a wedding. Right. That's not what he was doing. He was <laughs> like, there's like some real good stuff here. Okay. Yeah. So let me read it yeah. to you, um, which I'm sure you've probably heard, like Justin was saying. Um, but 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Let's see. Where is it? Here we go. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things, um, and, and endures all things. So that's like way bigger than just like, oh, this is so sweet. This is like um, when my sister stole my sweater and then spilt spaghetti on it. I love her and I'm going to be patient mm -hmm. and I'm going to be kind and I'm not going to be resentful and mad at her forever about that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like the real it's me of 10 weeks of being in the same house right. with everybody. And you're like, okay, I've heard that song 15 times, love Nora. Is, love is patient. But love is patient. It endures all things. It does. It does. <laughs> it does endure yeah. all things. So right. I I guess my heart behind love is like, what does it even mean? Yeah. And God gave that to us mm -hmm. um, yeah. in First Corinthians. Like, what does it really right. practically mean? Right. Yeah. There it is. Love. Love. God calls us to love the world mm -hmm. and the way that he calls us to love is a you before me, mm -hmm. other centered yeah. first kind of yeah. love. And he did that for us mm -hmm. first. Yeah. He died on the cross for us way bigger than just being patient. Giving some forgiveness for some <laughs> yeah. spilled right. spaghetti. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And so, yeah, there it is. TCC Youth, would we be a youth group? Would you mm -hmm. all be individuals that are able to live that out mm -hmm. in an other-centered love kind of way? Mm -hmm. Would you look for opportunities? Would you seek out mm -hmm. opportunities to love others? Not mm -hmm. just this week, not just while we shelter in mm -hmm. place where the world is in a pandemic, but would it just be a lifestyle mm -hmm. and a way that people know you as an mm -hmm. individual? Yeah. They're like, you know that person? They love Mm -hmm. really well yeah well we love you love you and we hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll yes. see you sunday at breakfast club yes bye